I'm uh, delighted to be visiting Nubia for the first time. I'm only sorry that my wife Catherine is not able to join me. She is immensely jealous. Uh, particularly as I'm looking forward to a few good uninterrupted nights sleep this week away from my wonderful children. I know that Her Majesty the Queen was very pleased to visit in 1991 when she met uh, President Nunyomo uh, and welcomed Namibia into the Commonwealth. I was honoured to meet uh, President Gaingob when he visited London in April for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. And I'm also glad to have met some inspiring Queen's young leaders and Commonwealth scholars here this evening. Namibia remains a strong supporter of the principles set out in the Commonwealth Charter and you have shown particular leadership on issues such as gender equality and climate change. I am particularly pleased to learn that Namibia is joining the Commonwealth Clean Oceans Alliance as part of a government program to reduce plastics, including in national parks. My visit to Namibia this week is focused on conservation. This is an issue very close to my heart, and I know is a matter of deep pride to you all as well. Your country is famous for its beautiful environment and its wildlife. This is the reason why so many tourists, including tens of thousands of Brits, visit every year. Tourism continues to grow year on year, and in 2017 accounted for 100,000 jobs, with the potential to add many more. On September the 24th, 2018, following a warm welcome in Namibia today, the Duke of Cambridge and Vice President discussed cross-border anti-poaching efforts. The Duke of Cambridge presented the Vice President with a photograph of the Queen taken on Her Majesty's visit in 1991. Prince William said, Thank you again for the warm welcome. It has been fascinating to meet people from so many walks of Namibian life, doing such important work. Following a 5am start yesterday, the Duke of Cambridge set off with a team of rhino trackers. And after searching for five hours, they finally spotted the black rhino they had been looking for. Along with several other animals. Prince William said, I was staggered by the beauty and sheer remoteness of this incredible landscape. And I was humbled by the dedication of the rangers who protect the unique population of the desert rhino from poachers. The Duke of Cambridge received a spectacular welcome of singing and dancing before meeting people involved in making the park initiative a success. The Cunean People's Park Initiative is a groundbreaking initiative supported by Tusk Org to promote Namibian communities with greater control and benefits from their wildlife. The Prince said, Whatever approach we take to end wildlife crime, it must be based on evidence of what works on the ground with local communities. This is why I wanted to come, to listen and learn. It is also why Namibia's voice on these difficult subjects at the upcoming conference on the illegal wildlife trade in London in October is so important. The latest figures show that a rhino is killed every seven hours. The illegal wildlife trade is an international problem that requires determined political leadership. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye.